Kumusta na kayo? Week 3 na? May pamagat, routine or non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of decimal numbers including money. Halina na kayo, atin ang pag-usapan ang ating topic ngayon. Adding and subtracting decimals are tasks that show how to read, write, compare, order, add and subtract decimals. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine or non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of decimal numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies. Paano ba mag ng decimal numbers? Example, una, i-arrange in column. Then, habang in in column, dapat ang decimal point ay pantay-pantay. Lagyan ng zero, kung hindi magkasing dami ang decimal places ng mga addends. Then, let us add. 0 plus 9 equals 9. 2 plus 5 equals 7. 0 plus 1 equals 1. And bring down 4. Then, put decimal point na naka-align pa rin. Second example. Arrange in column. At habang in-arrange in column, ang mga decimal point ay naka-align. Ano makikita, ang mga addends natin ay pantay-pantay ang decimal point. Lagyan ng zero, ang mga addends para ito ay magkakasing dami ang bawat decimal places. Then, let us add. 2 plus 0 plus 0 equals 2. 8 plus 8 plus 0 equals 16, carry 1, 1 plus 8, plus 6, plus 7, equals 22. Then, 2 plus 2, plus 3, plus 6, equals 13. Then, put decimal point. In subtracting decimals, number 1 example, arrange first in column. 8.02 minus 5.1 equals Ligyan muna natin ng 0 bilang placeholder ang ating subtrahend para magkasing dami ito ng decimal numbers o digits sa kanan ng decimal point. So let us subtract. 2 minus 0 equals 2. 0 minus 1 cannot be. Mangyaram tayo ng isa sa 8 at ang 8 ay magiging 7. Then, ang 0 ay magiging 10. So, 10 minus 1 equals 9. 7 minus 5 equals 2. Then, a fixed decimal point. Para sa ikalawang halimbawa, 10.5 minus 4.653. Maraming kabataan, ang ginagawa nila, bring down 3, bring down 5. Ito ay mali. Tapat, nagyan muna natin ng 0 bilang placeholder. Then, let us subtract. 0 minus 3 cannot be. Hindi tayo pwede mangiram sa kasunod na digit kasi 0 din. Mangiram tayo sa digit na 5. Magiging... 4 ang digit na 5. At ang unang 0 ay magiging 9 dahil hiraman din ito natin ng isa na mailalagay naman natin sa 0 na magiging 10. So, let us subtract. 10 minus 3 equals 7. 9 minus 5 equals 4. 4 minus 6 cannot be. Mangihiram tayo sa 10 at ito ay magiging 9. At ang 4 
ay magiging 14. 14 minus 6 equals 8. 9 minus 4 equals 5. Then, ilagay ang decimal point na naka-align. At isagutan ang learning task 1. Find the sum of the given decimals. Write your answers in your notebook. At isagutan ang 1 and 2. Number 1, first arrange in column. At habang ina-arrange, ang mga decimal point ay dapat naka-align. Then, let us add. 5 plus 3 plus 5 equals 13. 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 equals 18. 1 plus 3 plus 8 plus 2 equals 14. And 1 plus 2, 3. Then, put decimal point. For number 2, arrange in column first na naka-align ang bawat decimal point ng mga addends. Next, let us add. 5 plus 3 plus 2 equals 10. 1 plus 0 plus 9 plus 6 equals 16. 1 plus 8 plus 7 plus 1 equal 17 then put decimal point study how word problems can be solved Mang Tino has 18 pesos and 48 centavos if he has to buy 5 pieces of candies worth 2 pesos and 10 centavos each how much change will he get from the seller to understand the problem, what is asked? The change he will get from the seller after buying 5 pieces of candies. What are given packs? The budget is 18 pesos and 48 centavos for 5 pieces of candies worth 2 pesos and 10 centavos each. How to solve the hidden given? Ating mapapansin, 2 pesos and 10 centavos plus 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 2 pesos and 10 centavos. Ia-add natin ang limang 2 pesos and 10 centavos. Let's plan. What operation will be used? Addition and subtraction. For solution, let us solve. Meron 5 candies. Pag pinagsama-sama, ito ay nagkakahalagang 10 pesos and 50 centavos. Tandaan natin, ang bawat isang candy ay 2 pesos and 10 centavos. Yan ang halaga ng limang perasong candies. So, 18 pesos and 48 centavos minus 10 pesos and 50 centavos. Para malaman natin ang sukli. So, 8 minus 0 equals 8. 4 minus 5 cannot be, mawasan natin ang 8, magiging itong 7. Then 4 magiging 14. 14 minus 5 equals 9. 7 minus 0 equals 7. And 1 minus 1 is 0. Kadi na natin ilagay ang 0. Then decimal point ilagay natin. So, 7 pesos and 98 centavos ang sukli. Let's check. So, 10 pesos and 50 centavos plus yung sukli na 7 pesos and 98 centavos. Pag ipinag plus, 0 minus 8 is 8. 5 plus 9 equals 14, carry 1. Then, 1 plus 7 equals 8. 1 plus 0 or bring down 1. So, that's it. Then, decimal point, peso sign. 
So, ang sagot natin na 7 pesos and 98 centavos ay correct. For learning task 2, solve the following problems. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1. The perimeter of a quadrilateral is 412.95 cm. If the three known sides measure 85.56 cm, 112.77 cm, and 85.26 cm, how long is the fourth side? So, ito ang itsura ng quadrilateral. Magkakaiba ito ng sides at ang port side ang ating hinahanap. So, para malamang ang kasagutan, kunin ang mga known sides. Na may sukat na 85.56 cm plus 112.77 cm and 85.26 cm. So, let us add. 6 plus 7 plus 6 equals 19. 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2 equals 15. 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5 equals 13. 1 plus 8 plus 1 plus 8 equals 18. And 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then put decimal point. Then, itong sagot natin ito, ay isusubtract natin ito sa 412.95 cm. Ito yung perimeter ng buong quadrilateral. Then, let us subtract. 5 plus 9 cannot be. Mangiram tayo sa 9, magiging 8. At ang 5 ay magiging 15. 15 minus 9 equals 6. 8 minus 5 equals 3. 2 minus 3 cannot be. Mangirap tayo sa 1, magiging 0. At ang 2 ay magiging 12. 12 minus 3 equals 9. 0 minus 8 cannot be. Mangirap tayo sa 4. 4 magiging 3. At ang 0 ay magiging itong 10. 10 minus 8 equals 2. 3 minus 2 equals 1. Then, lagyan ng decimal point. So, ang sagot natin ay 129.36 cm. Ito ang sukat ng port sign. For learning task 3, read and solve the following problems. Write your answers in your notebook. For problem number 1, the diameter of the earth is 12,756 kilometers. If the mercury's diameter is about 7,876.6 kilometers shorter than that of the earth, what is the diameter of the mercury? Para makuha ang diameter ng mercury, pag in natin ng problem, kailangan natin isubtract ang mga given data. So, let us subtract 12,756 minus 7,876.6. Sa pagsusolve ng ganitong mga numbers, i-align ang decimal point. Lagyan natin ng decimal point ang whole number at lagyan ng 0 para magkaroon ito ng tens place. So, 0 minus 6 cannot be Manghiram tayo sa 6, magiging 5. At ang 0 ay magiging 10. 10 minus 6 equals 4. 5 minus 6 cannot be. Manghiram sa 5. Ito ay magiging 4. At ang 5 ay magiging 15. 15 minus 6 equals 9. 4 minus 7 cannot be. Manghiram sa 7 ang isa, magiging itong 6. At ang 4 ay magiging 14. 14 minus 7 equals 7. 6 minus 8 cannot be. Mangarap tayo sa, sa 2. Magiging itong 1. At ang 6 ay magiging 
16. 16 minus 8 equals 8. Then 11 minus 7 equals 4. Then put decimal point and kilometer. So our answer is 4,879.4 kilometer. Ito ang diameter of mercury. In solving word problems, it is important that you follow the given steps on how to solve them. This will help you overcome your fear in different problems that you will encounter as we go along the lesson. For learning task 4, solve the given problems. Write your answers in your notebook. For problem number 1, Dana filled the container with 3 and 5 tenths liters of water. Her mother used 7,500 liters of water for cooking and 1 and 2,500 liters for palamid. How much water was left in the container? Para malaman natin kung ilan yung natira, atin munang i-add ang mga nagamit ng mother ni Dana. Let us add 7,500 liters plus 1 and 2,500 liters. Let us add. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 1 plus 7 plus 2 equals 10. 1 plus 0 plus 1 equals 2. Then put decimal point. Then isubtract natin ito sa filled container of water ni Dana. 3.5 minus 2. Ligan muna natin ng 0 as placeholder. Then let us subtract. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 5 minus 0 equals 5. 3 minus 2 equals 1. Then put decimal point. So, the answer is 1.50 liters or 1 and 50 hundreds liters of water. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood muli. Alam kong may natutunan kayo at atin itong ibahagi sa iba. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!